Hey guys! Today we're gonna make an instrument from guitar harmonics and put them into the Bitwig sampler. I'll show you the entire process from recording the guitar to setting up the sampler, adding some effects to it, and then we'll end the video with a track that I make with the instrument. Okay, let's go! After I recorded the harmonics, I picked out the samples that I liked the most, I trimmed them, and I also used Isotopes RX-8 to clean up the recording a bit. Okay, so now that we have our samples, let's just quickly listen to them. I tried to make them the same length, kinda. It's not possible because the different strings kind of fade out at different rates. But anyways, we have this E, A, D and G. I skipped the two highest strings because they didn't really sound that good. Let's work with what we have. So the next step is to create a sampler track. So let's just create a sampler and bam, here's the sampler. And now we want to create a multi sample. So we click this button here. Great, I'm just quickly gonna bounce these so they have the right names here in the list view. Okay, so let's put the low E string on E2. And then let's put the A above it over here. And then D. And then the G. Now we can just fill out the empty spaces so we can drag. So each note covers two semitones higher and two semitones lower, like this. Okay, we should now have a playable instrument. Let's try it. It works. Let's just extend the lowest note down a bit. Okay, so now we have this. Now we should try to add some effects to the instrument to make it sound a bit better. We can first start with an EQ actually and just remove some of the lowest muddy stuff. I don't know, 95. Sure. And let's add some reverb as well. My favorite reverb, the Pro R. Okay, let's see what we have now then. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, I'm just quickly gonna write something and then I'll show you the result. Okay, I'm back. I only spent like five minutes writing this, so it's not like super amazing or anything. But I kinda like how the instrument turned out. If you're gonna sample something and make it sound really nice, then you should probably not do as I do. You should probably record things at different velocities and stuff. But this is just a short demo, so I only recorded four notes, no velocity layers or anything. No round robins, just the same note every time. But yeah, let's listen to it. Here's what I came up with. Yeah, and there we have it. It sounds kind of like a toy instrument. It's pretty lo-fi and pretty unexpressive, in an expressive way, if that makes sense. Well, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.